prepare to be amazed, fall to your knees, for I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate mage, but I'm officially known as the ultimate magician. Um, so, Kokichi couldn't be here, um, due to their terrible planning skills. Um, they're like full the first week of June, so they sent in me to record for them. Yay. Um, they sent me like two scripts and everything. I've already forgotten which one to do first, but it's fine. We'll figure it out together. Um, so I'm gonna like try and get in their voice and everything, so that way it sounds like an actual video and this part doesn't exist. So, um, I'll do that now. <clears throat> What's up, fellow weeps? And, um, welcome to Chalk. I am your host, Chalk. Um, so, like, starting last summer, well, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Um, last year, during the panorama thing, um, my mom and papa were like, you should work at the food pantry at our church, so that way you can get extra credit in school, even though it's not like you're already doing well or anything. And with me being their grandkid, I was pretty much obligated to do it because they were going to force me to do it anyway. Um, so yeah, um, I hate that I'm saying um so much. Um, so basically what I do at my food pantry, so it starts at 10 and ends at noon. So what I have to do there is I have to go into like the pantry part, quote unquote. And so there we make boxes full of food. Um, we basically do that for two hours, more or less, depending on how many people are there. Um, so yeah, it's not the funnest thing in the world, but it's tolerable, kind of, not really. Um, so, and this has changed significantly, um, since when I started working there, and now. So, like, okay. Right now, we do some kind of meat. So, like, chicken, we're doing chicken right now. Or a pizza, like, 12 inch, mi not what, microwave. 12 inch oven cooked pizza. Like the ones that you would buy at Walmart. But these are special pizzas. These pizzas are government funded, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then we do ice cream. We have a very cool thing going on here. Um, so then we do um, two cans. Um, two different types of canned stuff. I forgot what the first one is, but we do four of those. And we do two uh, canned salmon. And then we do, I think... There's some kind of bean, I'm pretty sure. And then we do uh, canned peaches. And then a box of macaroni, uncooked, obviously. We aren't psychopaths. Um, um, what's after peaches? Oh yeah, stew. Like, not the stew that you're thinking of. Um... It's like in a bag, question mark? But like, if I got that same feeling in like a fidget toy, I would love that. Cause like, I'm gonna sound very weird saying this, but the texture of it in the bag thing, it's not necessarily a bag, but it's kind of like a bag. Like it's not like a grocery bag, obviously it's not like a a bag that you would carry on your vacation to Florida. It's sealed, obviously, and it's in like a rectangle. 
but yeah. Um, next is Trail Mix. Trail Mix, but it's not like great value brand. I don't know what the brand is because um, I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna do two Trail Mix. Almost forgot. Um, then we do, um, sorry. Anyways, you, you get my point. We, there's a lot of stuff that goes in there. Um, so, anyways, um, so we do that for like two hours. It's not fun. I'll tell you that much. Um, that's kind of it that I have to say about the general description? Question mark? I don't know. I'm, my wrist popped. Um, okay. So, that's like a pretty bland thing to do over the summer, or over like a who knows how, man, how many months long uh, quarantine. Um, sorry. <laughs> um. So then, um, God, I keep losing my train of thought. It's terrible. So again, pretty basic thing, very boring. But somehow, some way, I managed to get somewhat interesting stories out of it. They aren't really that interesting, but just bear with me here. So, this happened, like, very recently, Monday, to be precise, Monday as in, um, it's the 27th from the day that I'm recording this, so, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 24th? Yeah, 24th. <laughs> 24th. Um, so my friend picked me up, and they were like, yo, you wanna, like, run errands with me, bestie? And I was like, yeah. So, first we went to Walmart, and then we went to the shopping center that's near me, um, near our location, I guess. Um, and... Then we went to J.C. Penny because she had ordered shoes um, at the J.C. Penny through the app, and we went to go pick those up. They were red pumps, if you're wondering. Um, so then she tried them on for a bit, and I was just kind of vibing. Then we went to. Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree. I say that like there's only one Dollar Tree in the world. Um, and then we went to um, Save a Lot. Um, and then after about an hour or two running around, she finally dropped me off at my mamas. And I was like, sweet. And then me and my mom went immediately back to the food pantry, but not to work. We went there because we had to clean. Um, what's another interesting story, I guess? Again, like I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Very basic, very boring job. It's not really a job. 
It's community service. I'm not getting paid. Um. I have nothing else to say. My brain is blank. Oh, wait. I just thought of something. So, when I was first watching Soul Eater, um, my friend was also reading this book. Forgot what it was called. Don't ask me. Um. So every day that we went, that Monday and Thursday, that were the only days that the food pantry was open. So that's the only days that we went. So every day that we went to the food pantry, I would tell her what's happening in Soul Eater, and she would tell me what was happening in my in her book. And you know, I never realized how weird or bizarre soul eater was until i had to explain it to her because <laughs> there's a character called stein right sounds a lot like frankenstein my guy um there's also a character called medusa i no further explanation there you can probably fill in the blanks in your head because you're smart unlike me um her book was also very strange in that sense. Like, there wasn't any characters named after um, Greek legends. Um, but it was very Twilighty-esque, you know? It wasn't Twilight. Nobody likes Twilight. Except for maybe, like, two people. But yeah, I think that's it. For this one. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, I guess this, I guess I'm done? Question mark? Okay, I'm just gonna end it here, because I don't know what else to say.